list 15, 9, 10, 100. This is your scent video. Here is a review of your roots and their meanings. Scent is a Latin root that means 100. Your words with this root are centiliter, century, centuries, cent, centigrade, centimeter, centurion, centipede, and percent. A centiliter is a metric unit of capacity that is equal to one hundredth of a liter. So you can see a liter there, and then you can see the centiliter. It is one one hundredth of a liter. A century is a period of 100 years. So starting in 1990, or sorry, 1900, the century would have lasted until 2000, or 1999. It is a period of 100 years. On your homework for century, please write a century equals blank years and fill in the blank. Centuries, this is several periods of 100 years. So I can say several centuries ago, the ancient Egyptians were a civilization in northern Africa. That when I say centuries, it means several periods of 100 years. A cent is a monetary unit that is equal to one one hundredth of a dollar, euro, or other decimal currency. So when you think of a cent, it is equal to one one hundredth of a dollar. That's where we get the word cent. Centigrade, this is, means to re, relating to the temperature scale in which the boiling point of water is at 100 degrees and the freezing point of water is at zero degrees. So on the thermometer, you probably see a, uh, the degree sign with an F, that's Fahrenheit, and that's what we use here in the U.S. But you may also see the degrees C. This would be, we typically call it Celsius. Centigrade is a word that means the same thing as, cent, as Celsius. It relates to the temperature scale in which the boiling point of water is at 100 degrees and the freezing point is at zero degrees. So on your homework, please write the other word that we can think of when we think of centigrade. A centimeter is an, a length equal to one one hundredth of a meter or 10 millimeters. So you probably have heard this term in math. Um, there are approximately 2.54 centimeters in one inch. So on your homework, I want you to, next to centimeter, I want you to draw a line that you think is a centimeter long. If you have a ruler and want to measure it, that's great. If not, I want you to draw a line that you think is a centimeter long. Centurion. This is an officer in the ancient Roman army, and he was usually in charge of 100 men. So if you think of the army, it would be divided into groups of 100 men. A centurion would be the officer in charge of those men. So on your homework, please write well, how the word centurion relates to the root that means 100. A centipede is an invertebrate with a long, flat body composed of many segments. It could be called a centipede because it looks like it has 100 legs. It doesn't really. Percent. This is one part in a hundred, an amount that is equal to one one hundredth of something. So you may get one hundred percent on a test. So that means you got a hundred out of one hundred. If you get a ninety percent, it means you got ninety out of one hundred. So next to percent, I want you to write what the number, for the percentage is how we say it, that you would like to get on your next spelling test.